encourage everybody to haste tech and raw reviews. Uh, we are going to go over LOS. Uh, this is LOS 15, I think it's 15.1 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is for the Nexus 6. Um, I really thought about not doing this video just because of the no features in LOS. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. This is a very solid ROM. If you're looking for a ROM that functions all the time, um, you can't beat LOS. Uh, as far as I am aware, there are no issues with the ROM whatsoever. All right, I just wanted to get that theme off of there. I know some of you guys complain about themes. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go into settings, um, system, and uh, let's see here, about phone. Uh, as you guys can see, this is LOS. Um, it is for the Nexus 6, Android version 8.1.0. This is 15.1. I, I was, I almost thought that I had that wrong. Um, this has the June 5th security patch in it if you guys are concerned with that. Uh, I am running um, Popcorn Kernel uh, and it's uh, V1.5 um, and the reason I'm running it is because when I first flashed this ROM with the original kernel in it, uh, it forced me into encryption. So I had to redo my whole phone <laughs> um, and then I, um, I put uh, a custom kernel on it, flashed the FED patch and I am not encrypted anymore. So guys, this ROM will encrypt. Uh, Lineage OS um, tells you right in the uh, right in the um, the OP of the thread uh, that it's going to encrypt your device. Uh, they do not support decrypted devices. Just so you're aware of that. So if I have any issues with this ROM, I can't report it on their thread just because I'm running a custom kernel. Uh, but as you guys are aware, uh, from my last reviews I did of Popcorn Kernel, um, this is no different, and everything is running superbly. I, again, I highly recommend Popcorn Kernel, at least for my device. All devices are different. It's running great. All right, uh, I'm going to try to make this video as quickly as possible. Um, again, this ROM does not have a lot of custom features to it, um, at least features that you see on the outside. Uh, so we're going to get through this quickly. Um, under buttons, not there. Under buttons, uh, you're going to see the, uh, you know, don't show arrow keys while typing, you know, obviously for your keyboard. Uh, you do have buttons and layout, um, nav bar, uh, layout. Right now I'm running normal. Uh, you can go with the uh, compact left leaning or right leaning, which moves the nav bars one way or the other if you choose to do that. Uh, you can invert the button layout, switch the home or the uh, recents and the uh, back button around if you want to do that. Um, you can add an extra right button. You can add an extra left button. Um, let's see. Home long press action. You can change that around if you want. This is going to be where you go to change that. Uh, these are all your options. Do you have a double tap action? Uh, and this is, of course, for the home button. Uh, then your recent long press action, basically same thing. It's set up stock as split screen. Power button, this is your power menu. Um, those are the options you have on your power menu. Now you're going to have to go into the developer uh, options and turn on uh, your extended reboot in order for all this to work. Um, this is basically the rest of it for buttons. Uh, let's see, status bar, quick pull down, uh, network traffic monitor, uh, system icons is basically all the icons that you can have on your status bar if you want, just turn them off or on. Uh, let's see here, your brightness slider uh, showing in the drop down right there. Uh, you can have that show or not show, as well as the uh, brightness uh, auto switch. Uh, then there's the brightness control by sliding your finger across the status bar. If you guys want to use that, uh, that's where you go as well. Now remember, all these custom settings are under system. Um, let's see. Uh, next up is going to be gestures. 
depending on the device you own, this could have a couple or could have a page full of these. Uh, I've seen some where they have the, uh, the C uh, and the X, you know, with the screen off will allow you to do a lot of things with it. Uh, but the only gestures that come with the Nexus 6 are jump to camera, double tap on the power button, which I have on, and then lift to check phone, which is basically like an ambient uh, with your sensors also, um, and I do have them turned on. But those are the only gestures that you get with the Nexus 6. Uh, let's see, your date and time, uh, backup developer options. You go in there, you're going to want to hit that advanced restart if you want your uh, advanced re uh, reboot menu uh, to show. Uh, that's where you go to turn that on. Um, and basically, there's nothing else different that I could see under developer options. Uh, it all does come set up and drawing uh, one, one, and one. Um, and I did turn them all off. Uh, like I've said in the past, guys, I'm running with uh, I'm running with basically all of my. Oh well, they're actually <laughs> I lied. At least on this one, I'm running at 0.5. Uh, I've been running with my animations completely shut off. It really does speed up the phone, uh, but you guys can do what you want with it. And that's basically it for the custom settings, and they are all under system. That's where you're going to find most of your custom settings. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go up here and go into, uh, let's see here, display, your basic uh, display settings under advanced. Um, it, here's, a, here's your style. You can pick a dark style if you want. Right now I'm running light. Uh, if you want to go dark, it's going to be a gray. You don't get black like a lot of the other ROMs give you. It, you get a gray color. Uh, and then, of course, you can change your accent color to whatever you want. Go to cherry. Um, and it gave me a, uh, a settings has stopped. I'm going to click open again uh, and see if it changes. I'm going to pause it. All right, well, it doesn't look like it changed the color. Um, I do have some stratum installed and I have a theme installed, although I went in and uh, deactivated it. Uh, that could be conflicting with this right now. I'm going to go back into uh, light um, just so that it shows up better uh, for the camera. Um, but again, this is normal for pretty much uh, all the custom ROMs in the display settings. Uh, you do have your uh, wallpaper, sleep, you know, rotation settings, stuff like that, font size, display size. Uh, I'm running all that at default right now. Wake on plug, prevent accidental wake up. That's all there. Next up is going to be sound. Um, again, uh, about the only thing I see that they added in is the uh, link ring tone or your ring link ring and notification volumes. Uh, you guys can set that up. I like that. I'm glad that they have that in there. At least uh, that is a custom feature that they do have. Uh, these are your extended features, uh, you know, setting up for your notification and ringtone. Um, and then again, uh, turning on or off what sounds you want, you know, that's where you go to do that. Um, under security and privacy, um, again, basic stuff that you would uh, normally, you know, find under other ROMs. Um, they do have the trust, uh, which is something that is specific to LOS. Uh, it basically it's like privacy guard or something like that. Um, if you go in there, uh, I'll let you guys read a little bit. What it does is it's, it's kind of like a uh, a security management program that runs in the background and try and gives you little hints about things that should be turned on if you want you know a very secure phone. So it's telling me right now that um, you know uh, status SE Linux enforcing um, root access is disabled. Uh, although I am running Magis. Uh, Android security patches are up to date and encryption is disabled. So, um, as you guys can see, I'm not encrypted. Uh, so that's it for security. You do have your screen pinning all the way at the bottom, uh, just like on all the other ROMs. Um, that is about it, guys. I can't think of anything else to show you. Um, let me go back down to about phone again. Yeah. Uh, it does have the updates. Uh, if you go in here and click on uh, updates, uh, you guys can see um, all the builds that there are. And of course, you can um, you know update nightly if you want. 
Um, I tried to keep this as short as possible. Um, again, this is LOS for the Nexus 6 15.1 version, Android 8.1.0. Uh, it's running great for me, guys. I've had no problems. I want to thank all of my subscribers. You are awesome. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I guess I should add, um, I, I would have made this a little bit longer, but to be honest with you guys, again, that's all the custom uh, features. Um, I really didn't want to do this ROM review uh, only because, again, LOS has very, very few features. Uh, what they rely on is their stability, and everybody knows it. Anybody that runs LOS knows that they run LOS because it is a very stable ROM. Um, it's touted for good battery life. Um, I really didn't notice a difference between LOS and some of the other custom ROMs I was running uh, as far as battery life goes. Um, I didn't see any advantage to this. Um, again, it's working. Substratum's working with it. Uh, if I go into Substratum, and uh, here's the theme I was running. I'll go ahead and click uh, Enable. Whoops. Cancel. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Enable the Themes. Click OK. Let it do its thing. It's going to go through. Uh, it will reset. And, of course, I will have my theme. And it's Vibrance Dark is the theme I'm running. Seems to be working pretty good, um, you know. It, but it is what it is. So uh, that's about it. Um, I don't want you guys to take uh, anything away from this, uh, like um, thinking that I think that LOS is a bad ROM because it's not. It's just not my cup of tea. Anybody that's followed me or watched my videos in the past know that when I flash a custom ROM, I like a lot of custom features. Uh, and it used to be when this was signage in mod uh, back in the day, this was the ROM to flash. Um, and these were the people that made the, the big leaps and bounds. And everybody pulled from their uh, source, you know. Um, and, you know, and it's that way today. These are the people that are allowing a lot of phones out there uh, and tablets and other devices to be modified and customized. Um, they have a large team. Uh, make sure you guys thank them. Uh, again, I can't say anything more about the ROM except it's stable, very, very stable. I've got, I've made, uh, or I've had no drop calls. Uh, I've received all my text and messages. Um, I just can't think of anything, uh, you know, bad to say about it other than the lack of custom features. Um, you know, to me, I would rather run stock than LOS, but that's just my opinion, guys. Um, again. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is LOS uh, for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is 15.1 or Oreo uh, 8.1.0. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, eh, give it a thumbs down. Uh, I, I do want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are great. Um, I appreciate all of you, and I will see you on the next one.